This is a brief tutorial how to navigate yourself through Microsoft Streets and Trips uh, and associating it with our routing applications that we have. We're going to talk about a few things here today, importing data from Excel, just the routing function itself, if you want to change a starting point or an ending point, optimizing your stops, the radius of the route, measuring distance, zooming in and out, uh, some balloon properties, and then finally saving that map. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, if you want to import some data from an Excel spreadsheet, um, I've set up a sheet here that you can see. This is really the basic stuff that you're going to need. You don't really need the account number, um, but you need the account name, the address, city, state, and then of course the zip code. All this other stuff um, can be good. You can include that in your balloon properties when you're doing your uh, routing. It could come in helpful, but uh, definitely not necessary as far as for the routing piece. Okay, so back to the streets and trips. Um, to get this information in and get it plotted, we want to go over here to Data and Import Data Wizard. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. We've got to find that Excel spreadsheet. I've got it on Schwartz Workload. And let's just look at uh, rep number 269. So you can double click on that. Um, it's going to bring up this uh, default page here. Um, it, pretty much knows exactly what it needs to look for. If you look at your headings here, make sure you do have your headings on your Excel spreadsheet when you're bringing that in. The only thing it doesn't recognize, it wants to think that the rep number that we have on that page is a three digit zip. So let's go ahead and just change that column to other data. And it will look at it, but it's not uh, searching or matching any records based upon that. So once you get that, that stuff taken care of, go ahead and hit finish. And if something doesn't match up perfectly to the records that they have on file, it's going to come up to this. This particular route shows that there are six records that are still unmatched. Um, this one looks correct. This is at uh, 799. Luther Kings, that one's okay. That one looks correct. And you'll see just because this has CSWY for Causeway, it suggests this one. So yes, that's okay. That one looks correct. This one here, we'll use the zip code. And that one there looks like the one we are needing. So let's go ahead and hit OK there. It then puts uh, plots these out utilizing a push pin uh, on the map. Um, OK, so from this point, we want to get these into some type of a wrap. Um, you could look at these, dial down, you know, zoom in here, and you could, you could uh, see what the stores were. Let's see what the computer does. We want to go ahead and go over here to the push pin set properties and we want to right click on that and uh, let's add push pins as stops. So once we select that computer takes just a moment and then it plots all of these out here on the map. Okay so to see what these are we want to go here to the little car and that's the route planner and just uh, left click on the route planner. Um, as you can see, it then tells you the store, the corresponding store, with each particular set of push pins. Okay, so let's say, for example, you want to see how big the territory is. Let's go ahead and hit this radius button. And if you go out here, this is going to give you a really good idea of how large the territory is. I mean, for us, it looks like from the center of this territory out 12.813 miles out to the uh, out to the edge. So. Um, you can definitely see there's not a whole lot of driving um, within this territory. If they get in here and they're working these stops once they get to it, if they're working these the next day working this area, you can see how very compact it could be. So I'm going to get rid of this, this uh, radius. Uh, let's say, for example, you had a stop that was up here. And to maneuver within the route, uh, within the, the area, you just want to left click somewhere and it turns to a hand and you just move the map wherever you want to move it. Um, okay, so let's say, for example, um, this was a rural territory. We had a stop that was way up here, and you want to find out exactly how far that is. You really want to look by a road. You can't just draw a straight line. That we, don't, uh, we don't get to a stop as a bird flies. So um, you would go up here to Tools. You would go to Measure Distance, and you would go to the stop, I guess, that was probably as close to that as you could possibly find. So let's go from here, and you want to... Uh, Click and hold down on the left button. So you click and hold. And let's see, we want to go up here. Uh, let's see, so from that stop, 
that stop is 17.5 miles if we had something up there. At that point, we could say, do we, is that necessary to keep that account up there or not? And those are, those are those types of calls that we'll probably make during those DM meetings. Um, okay, so from this different uh, this viewpoint here, if you wanted to uh, zoom in on a particular area, you can do that by two ways, either by just uh, hitting up here, zoom in, um, or you can highlight a particular area by right click and then dragging your mouse over a particular area, releasing, and then you just left click and it will zoom in for you for a particular area. So in this situation, if we have, you know, this is telling us that the, the stops were 58, 59, and 60, 61, 62. Well, we may want to change those, but you know what? We really don't want to mess with this. We want to see what the what these stops are. We can go back up here to the Legends and Overview tab. And if we hit this, it brings us back up to our push pin uh, set. We're going to right click there again. And let's show all push pin information. This is going to pull up the information that we had on our spreadsheet. So there you can see the stops that you have. And this is where I was talking about some of that additional data that we that we brought in. You could actually bring the coverage code here. You could see what the coverage code was. If we were to go over here and we go to, let's see, properties, you could go to balloon. And if you want to bring in the coverage code, you could go uh, just select that, hit OK. And you'll see that now you know exactly what the coverage code is also for that account as you're doing your plotting. Um, where I would see where this could be beneficial if you were doing a particular area as you're uh, writing up your territory, you can, each one of these, you just can click off of um, as you get them on your territory schedule. So you know that that account is now taken care of. Uh, you have got it on your territory schedule. Because sometimes there are stops right across the street from each other. It, uh, it, it looks It could be 6162 right here. Okay, so that is how we take care of that. If you want to uh, get information off of their, your balloons, let's go ahead and hide all push pin information. Okay, so we want to zoom out here. So we're just going to hit this button up here. And we want to zoom back out. Um, at this point, you know, you're, it's going to be a little bit of a tedious process. Just going through creating your routes um, by going in and assigning uh, each one, really dropping them out. Um, you want to, at this point, you want to save this map. You're just going to go up here to File. You're going to Save As. And let's not save this one as a template. We want to save it as this. And this can be Rep269. And save it where you know where it's at. And you have successfully completed a territory schedule and a map for that territory.